Hi, my name is Ray Adams, Charter Financial Planner and Director of CashCalc. What I'd like to talk to you about today is the CashCalc Client Portal. Now we launched this portal in March, April time last year, just as COVID came in. Um, it was earlier than I wanted to launch it because I had plans to put functionality of over a dozen things in there. But soon as we were in lockdown, I realized that we needed to get it out as soon as possible so people could start communicating securely with clients. And what I said on a presentation in the spring of 2020 that as more functionality was added, it would be released. Well, I'm delighted to say now that in January 2021, all of that functionality has been built and um, I'm going to go through some of those things with you now. So some of the things you can do on the client portal. So the first thing is you can send a secure link to the client and invite them to the portal. But actually, if you don't work like that and you run, for example, seminars or, or some other sort of presentation where you want people to approach you, the client can actually self onboard themselves. Because we've put the ability that you can just have a, a secure link but you can embed on your website or at the bottom of your emails or if you run a seminar uh, and you can have the link to the seminar and below that you can have a link saying become a client of Niche or ABC Financial Services. So when the client clicks that link, it goes straight to the Cash Calc portal which is branded as your company. So this new prospect has clicked a link and gone to your portal and as soon as they arrive at your portal, they put their own email address in and their own password in. And when they go in, they fill all their details in. And when they land in your portal, either through self onboarding or you inviting them, the first thing they see is whatever you've asked them to see. And generally that would be your disclosure documents. So you can upload your company's disclosure documents and you can have them in there ready. So this is a, a prospect you've never met before, gone in, created themselves uh, uh, as, as a prospect, gone in, looked at your disclosure documents, read through them and digitally accepted them there and then. So they're, they're digitally signed and accepted and uh, we place a watermark on the PDF document. So rather than just a squiggle signature, we put a watermark on there on the front page at the top, which gives six bits of information, which includes the time, the date, the email address, the browser they use, the IP address that they're at. So it's digitally accepted, um, that document. So once they've done that, they can then go further into your portal. It's all very, very natural and flowing and the first thing they will come to is your fact find. And we have a dynamic fact find in there, which many of you will be using already. But something which has been upgraded very recently is it's now customizable. So if at your firm, you deal a lot with small business owners and there's specific questions you want to ask about businesses, you can just customize the cash calc fact find and add another page of questions. Or it could be a page of, uh, of ESG questions because uh, you do a lot of ethical uh, investing. So the clients are now in and starting to complete the dynamic customized fact find. And when they get to the point where they can put their income and expenditure in, they'll have the option to say, would you like to use open banking stroke open finance and bring the last 12 months of your expenditure and income straight in from your normal bank account. And if they say, yes, I want to do that, it then pops up all the logos of the banks. They pick which bank they're at and they put their normal username and password. And if they use a pin sentry, um, so they access their normal online banking. As soon as they go and it just says, would you like to do a one-time sync and send your data? And they click yes and then they're immediately logged off their online banking. So it comes across and it's categorized into 179 categories automatically, which we then filter down to the seven that we have in 
cash calc, which can include, you know, loans, uh, mortgages or rent, housing costs, you know, motoring costs, personal expenses, etc., etc. So the the client now doesn't even have to fill all of this information in their fact find because it's all been brought in and all lined up with what we think is the correct one. So if something's coming from legal in general, we'll have made the assumption that that might be some life insurance. So we'll have lined it up with life insurance and all the client has to do is say, yes, that's correct. And if it's not, they can just change the drop down and say, well, no, this is housing because it's my house insurance. So most of the time they'll be going, yes, 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 yes. It's all so clever enough to know what we think is essential expenditure, what is lifetime expenditure, and what's discretionary expenditure. Because if it's coming in from Halifax and it's a payment every month, we make the assumption that that's mortgage. So we line it up with mortgage and we already mark that as an essential expenditure. But again, the client can just go, yes, no, click, change the radio button to, actually that's a lifestyle expense because it's not the mortgage, it's a standing order I've set up to save money for savings for holidays or something. What we can also do in the portal is the client has then gone on to complete the rest of their customizable fact find. They may have got to the pension page and they've put that they've got, a, let's say, an Aviva or an Aegon pension uh, with approximately £80,000. Now, what's available in the portal is the ability to just press one button and print an authority letter for your company. Because those authority letters can contain the client's name, address, date of birth, maybe national insurance number. Well, the client's just entered all of that in as the fact find. So we filter that straight into a template letter of authority, which we then add in the words Aegon or Aviva, and it's produced as a PDF. Now, unfortunately, we've still got to the stage where we need a wet signature, but that's not cash calc rules, that's your Avivas and Aegons and Axas, etc., etc. But what it does mean is that you don't have to sit down and hand write out letter authority forms, especially if there's a half a dozen policies, because you can just print one off for each policy. And of course, what can be done then is that you can then send a secure message to the client and they can um, read that message and say, oh, they want me to print off this letter of authority, wet sign it, load it back up, and then you do a document exchange with the client. Secure messages, and you probably already know what that probably is, uh, and you'd be exactly right. It's just messaging between you and your client, which are secure. And what do I mean by secure? Normally we communicate with our client by email, and, and, and obviously that's not secure because you hear of stories of emails being hacked and people monitoring you, and certainly uh, our professional colleagues in solicitors, that's a big danger for them that people hack and monitor them. And then at the point they're about to send the funds, there's a message is sent saying, please send them to this bank account. So clearly their, their emails are being monitored for some time. Now to avoid that risk completely, if you have a secure portal where somebody needs to log in and put a, um, a password, a username and password to get in, and then they can just zip a message back and forth, then it's then secure communication. And this is in addition to document exchange, which we launched before Christmas. So what you can actually do now from a practical point of view is that you could send a secure message to your client saying, please, can you upload a copy of your bank statement? And then the client does exactly that, uploads their bank statement. You might look at it. And you might think, oh, page two is a bit fuzzy. So you just send a secure message back saying, thanks very much, but can you redo page two? So you've got what you require, which is the bank statement. The client hasn't had to leave their house, not even to post it to you or to drop it off. You've got it. You can then just download it and save it onto your storage or your back office. And you haven't used an email at all. Very, very, very simple example of how you can use both secure messaging and secure document exchange. One other thing we've, we've also added there as well is anti-money laundering, 
We don't do it at CashCalc, but we've identified what we consider to be a great company uh, called Credas. They've got a fabulous remote anti-money laundering, and we've just set up an integration, which if you want to, you can even remotely AML your clients as well for the advanced searches. Uh, so it's just a matter of clicking a button, take you straight across, uh, and your client can do remote AML check. Now, the great thing for you as well is because CashGalg has got thousands of users, I've been able to negotiate a very, very, very cheap cost for you guys to do AML through us. So you may well find that um, even if you are doing remote uh, AML now, that we, it may be cheaper to do it through us because of our buying power. Finally, we've got links, and these have been live for several months anyway, but you can actually uh, put a, an external link to a website in the portal to exchange with a client. So you may want to ask your client to do a remote uh, attitude to risk questionnaire. Uh, CashCalc doesn't do that, but you can just put your, a link in there to your chosen attitude to risk provider, whether that be Oxford Risk or Phenometrica, um, DT or, or, or uh, eValue or FE. Whatever you choose to do, you can just send a, a digital link out to that. We've also built the functionality that you can have a link but not share it with the client. And you might be thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Well, as you know, when you're sat working on a client, sometimes you may be on cash calc working, but then you need to go to your back office or to your storage system. Well, actually, you could go to your storage system, find the client, but actually then save that link and put it into the portal and just mark it as not shared with the client. So when you're working, it's just an instantaneous press of a button, takes straight across. It just saves you 20 seconds of searching to, to search the client files. It's just quick links. What you can probably see is that I'm an IFA, I own an IFA practice, I know the pain points that we go through trying to do this job and provide a great service to our clients. So with CashCalc, I'm trying to take away those pain points to make us super efficient. And a very, very simple uh, uh, analogy I can give you is a friend of mine used to work for McDonald's and he told me one day that the most popular McDonald's was a Big Mac. So McDonald's put that the first button on the till because it saved about a quarter of a second every time they ordered it and pressed it. Uh, and I've, that's always stuck in my mind. If we can do things on cash calc, which save you quarter of a second, you're 20 seconds there, 30 seconds there, we help to make you more efficient and you can either make more profit or provide a more keen price into your clients. I hope you found this useful. Thanks very much for your support and good luck with business, guys.